Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you about the hit refresh dashboard that I've uh, created. Um, for me it's a dashboard with uh, a bit of a difference because it, it uses more of the um, of the Office 365 technologies than uh, I've used before and it, and it uses them in a way that's I think is quite interesting. Um, so here we are on the landing page. Um, we saw bookmarks come in um, last week, and this is just a, this is just a link through to the introduction page and so on. Um, this background here was prepared using um, PowerPoint. So if I fire PowerPoint up, we should um, PowerPoint. Um, we should see. Not sure if it's this one here. Let's give it a go. Yeah, it should should just be this one. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. So we, we've got the background here, and you, you know, obviously at this point you can move things around. All all I did, you know, and you can move these bits and pieces around. I think I think it's quite uh, a nice way of. Um, using uh, being able to create something I don't think you, you'd ordinarily be able to create something like this in Power BI uh, um, and uh, let's have a look on then all I did on that was I just use a, a snipping tool to to take the um, uh, photograph and, and so on and push it into the model so I'm just going to jump onto the model itself because uh, there are obviously some things that I won't be able to um, describe properly. So this is us on the landing page, and if we just go on to there. So of course the thing you'll notice is that there's no there's no kind of funny things that happen when you hover over um, some of the items. Although there is a random uh, text box over here. Um, yeah, but you can see that there's no there's nothing. Um, uh, there's nothing to click on here and that's because it's all sitting in the background of the page and I think this is quite neat um, it's important to do the fit otherwise you end up with that sort of um, uh, uh, an answer so yeah there we are that's the that's the um, the landing page and what it does it expresses the fact that um, I've created a SharePoint list and I, I personally have been populating it with Power Apps, um, but you guys, if you choose to get involved, will be populating it using Microsoft Forms, um, which then gets picked up through Microsoft Flow into SharePoint, and the whole lot gets read by Power BI. So, without further ado, um, I'm going to show you. Um, yeah, there's a piece on uh, on the introduction here. This is just to give you a feel for, you know. Um, uh, you know my logic and and so on um, and uh, this is just a screenshot of the um, the app that I created um, and then if you move on to the quote extracts themselves then you've got uh, yeah we can see the number of contributors which is just a sort of distinct count and so on you can see all the chapters of the books you can filter on that I mean we all know about filters and so on this is quite neat because um, it will um, it will pick up uh, words. Now the way I've done done the words is that any, it's only words greater than um, five. It's five characters or more. I think is the the number of characters that I've gone for on this. So um, so let's just type in um, something that does crop is. Um, the um, cloud. Let's put first because there's a lot of um, times when it's sort of mobile first, cloud first, that sort of thing. So this is quite interesting. So you go hit first, and you can see all the qu all the quotes with first in. I think it's quite neat. Um, um, and you could also do the same by just putting in the word mobile. Uh, because actually, an awful lot of um, the the strategy etc. is is around uh, is around mobile. But of course, by putting in the the quote there, you can you can uh, get a good sense as to um, all the times that those pop up. Um, I've only actually populated the first three chapters, so I'm kind of leaving it for you guys to um, to populate the rest of it um, uh, if you so wish. 
the the word cloud is weighted by the voting so what we see here is that um what i've used is microsoft forms whilst um i populate the quotes using power apps and um, you guys will use um use microsoft forms to populate the quotes and so on so if i jump us on to um on to adding a quote so say for example we thought uh, i'm going to undo that let's just move it along um so it's if i thought that um quote number 21 and 23 were absolutely awesome all i would do is go into here um this is going to fire up the forms which i love um and <coughs> I'm going to vote for um, two quotes. Um, I'm going to say that I am just for fun. I'm going to say I'm a customer, and I'm going to end, actually now I'll put power user because I am, um, and I am just going to have a quick squiz. Uh, oh dear. Yeah. So I am going to look. So I'm going to say number 21 and 23 are the ones that I'm interested in. So I'm going to put 21 comma um, 23. And if I press submit now, what it will do is it will um, push this um, effectively into the SharePoint list that I have created. Now, and the way in which it does that is by using flow. So if we look on the, um, the site itself, um, what we can see is this is the list kind of hoping that by this time then yeah you can see um id 117 um a few seconds ago and it was um effectively a a, uh, a voting piece that went in there so what we'll see is if i go on to flow um that we will see flow 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 i need to get a all flow 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 that's nice. Good. So here comes flow. I don't have very many flows here at the moment. Um, so hit survey uh, responses in SharePoint. So we're going to get an edit flow. Um, and what it does is when a new response is submitted, what it does is it pulls out the response um, details, um, which is a it's just what it does uh, as part of the connector and then what it uh, and then beyond that what it does it creates an item and then adds different ver uh, bits and pieces from the form that you used so um so yeah i think that's quite cool now one thing that's not apparent here is that this um that the 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 uh, the quote um sorry the the form is capable of actually doing two things one is it can do a vote but it can also um it can also do um various quotes and so on so if you add if you say add a quote this uses the branching facility within um within forms so and and you essentially get a different set of questions so if i say what quote is it from and i say something like the tourist equation and i say what page your quote from and i put i don't know 78 or something uh, and then say, okay okay tell us about your quote um i'll just say um i love to use uh, office 365 and um, why is it important uh, because it is um <coughs> uh, give yourself a name so uh, a n other um and what town or city you're from well, let's think of a a nice um town so we'll go for madrid and we'll go with spain um and this just allows us to have a bit of fun with um uh, using the mapping piece so if i hit the go button on that um, we would expect the um, the flow to pick that up in, in a few moments time so I'm gonna hit the close on this here I'm gonna press OK to that and then um, let's just take a look at this yeah so we've got a run history uh, succeeded two second oh, took two seconds and it took place 18 seconds ago so that was the thing that we um, the thing that we did so we can actually see what actually happened 
Um, so yeah, there's my trust equation. Um, that's what it actually created. So that's pretty quick, if you ask me. Um, and then obviously, if we jump into SharePoint um, and we look on here and we go on to the hit refresh list what we'll see is that our uh, item at the top is um, it's not a quote vote because that's not what it's intended to do what this one is come off there is um, it's chapter seven um, somehow I've managed not to fill in my relationship with Microsoft but actually um, it doesn't require me to um, I'm I'm being quite sort of um, you know, clear with this that I don't really want to actually if people don't want to supply loads of data that's fine um, so in it goes and um, so that's one that that's the forms method of adding the data uh, and then the power apps method of adding the data um, I'll go start a new session on this um, and I'm going to jump into um, my power app obviously um, in my case the power app ran on my phone it was really cool because um uh i was able to um i was able to i was able to hold the book in one hand and the phone in the other hand uh, and then it was all set up so that i could click on the things i needed to click on and then i would speak the quote into the actual app itself and then i would hit the go button and far as far up to the um uh, up to SharePoint. <coughs> so the quote, um, the hit refresh quotes here is, um, in fact, what I'm I should be doing is just looking at the the play option. So if I uh, I haven't done a great sort uh, function on this, uh, but essentially what I was doing is with my left thumb I would hit the plus button. And um, then I would sort of say, well, what page number? And this is this is quite neat. So let's say it was 194, and let's say it was chapter uh, eight or something like that. And I would say, um, uh, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Okay, um, not that important. Um, and what you can see on this is because it was my app, it actually um, picks up my um, it picks up my details because I effectively hard coded it in, which made it an even easier app for me to use than the form is for you to use because um, a lot of a lot of things were sort of hard coded in. So I would then hit the um, OK button. Uh, that means it's definitely gone in by the time you return. And so if we jump onto the survey site and we hit the refresh button, then we should see this thing popping up. OK, so there's chapter eight in it go. Da, da, da. Right, lovely. And um, so what we've done is populated a SharePoint list and then the SharePoint list gets visualized in Power BI. So so we've kind of gone through. Yeah, we've seen the flow. The flow goes into SharePoint and across onto Power BI. Um, and let's just see if there's anything else that's um, worth mentioning along the way. Um, I quite like the um, I quite like the word cloud weighted by vote. Uh, let's see what character because obviously we click on character and we're going to get um, you know all the things which have got um, what it should get. That's better. Um, but the fact of the matter is um, there aren't enough votes in this to actually make much of a difference. It's not a, a perfect word cloud. Um, but it's kind of fun. Um, so, uh, and what we've got here is this hasn't refreshed recently, so I've set it to refresh every three hours. But um, because I'm me, I get to uh, I get to cheat. So I'm going to go okay, Ryan, and we're going to do a refresh now. So go to data sets. Going to jump on to schedule refresh. Uh, I'm going to press don't save because that was not anything special. So I'm just going to check the refresh history. So 
yeah normally it clearly doesn't take an awful I'm saying that so this is yeah so it took nine seconds that is yeah that's this one now lovely uh, but what you can actually see is when it refreshes on demand it sort of gets round to it um, so this probably was a four o'clock refresh so thanks uh, Power BI for waiting till uh, 21 minutes past and then somehow um, taking nine minutes to do something that actually took uh, nine seconds on demand so anyway it's still cool so um, so that's actually up to date so if I hit the refresh button on this <coughs> what we'll see is the um, it'll show us that that it did actually succeed so if we go on to uh, down to the products onto the reports back onto the reports uh, and then onto the introduction no not onto the introduction actually we're going to go to follow the link uh, we jump across here total votes cash you can actually see that just jumps up there and what we should see is that Madrid's appeared hello okay cool so I hope you enjoy this um, I will um, make the PBIX available to you so um, please kind of participate in this survey it would be so neat if people you know read the book and put their quotes in and then voted for other people's quotes and um, it would be really fun to you know to see you know the map of the world start to change and um, you know you could be as anonymous as, as you like and um, it does make a difference if you um, if you're not anonymous just put any any sort of you know reference in here um, you know it could be ABC one two three uh, is your code if you like just so that you can find your quotes because then what will happen is the word clothes will will change based on the quotes that you've um, uh, been interested in so cool um, thank you everyone please like this video and please participate thanks bye